Well, from the steps of D.C. to the streets of Spokane, people are still voicing their reaction to President Trump's controversial executive orders. KXY 4's Brittany Paris working for you on rallies held in Spokane County today. And Brittany, protesters vowing to keep fighting Trump's actions. Nadine, dozens of people rallied outside Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers' office today, while hundreds of people gathered on EWU's Cheney campus, standing in solidarity, challenging President, President Trump's executive orders. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Protesters chanting, cheering. No hate, no fear. Refugees are welcome here. No and waving signs that read, I'm with the resistance and no ban, no wall. And our purpose is to fight basically the Trump agenda, which we think is very damaging to the country, by working with our local representatives. Dozens of people rallying outside the GOP congressional office, hoping to send a message to Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers. I think she has to decide when she looks into the mirror who she wants looking back at her. A woman of moral courage who stood up to this fascist wannabe dictator or a spineless ideologue who looked away. All of this in response to President Trump's recent executive orders. We had to make the move and we decided to make the move. That move created shockwaves around the world as the U.S. closed its doors to all refugees and citizens from seven countries for at least 90 days. Everybody's just in shock about all the changes that have come down so fast. It's like a fire hose worth of garbage that's being spewed out on the country. Over in Cheney. EWU student and school leaders making it clear they stand in solidarity with immigrants and refugees as hundreds rally on campus. We want our students who are members of the targeted groups to know that they are not only welcomed, but will be vigorously defended to the maximum extent possible. Both groups of protesters the people united will never be defeated. promising to continue demonstrating. And Nadine, the White House maintains these executive orders will help keep the country safe. Supporters say the ban is only temporary. Live in Spokane tonight, I'm Brittany Paris, KXLY 4 News. Thank you, Brittany.